and welcome to the Montgomery Small Cap Series. Today we have Bernard Wilson, CEO of newly issued IPO Cash Rewards. Bernard, welcome to the CEO Series. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for having me. Ah, great to see you. Now, what I thought we could do is you could introduce, since it's a new IPO, you could introduce the Cash Rewards business. Wonderful. So. The cash rewards business has been around for about seven years, but in a way it's a seven year old startup with, with a lack of awareness for what is a pretty exciting business for, for both customers and merchants. Uh, and it exists uh, in, in to, to give effect to that ecosystem. So we take a fee from merchants uh, on a performance marketing basis, and we use that fee to provide a cash back or saving opportunity for customers. And so it, it, it is a three-way win model where the more that, that customers save, the more that they transact with merchants, which obviously drives a great outcome for them. And the more transactions on our, on our platform, the more revenue that we derive. Fantastic. Fantastic. So how big is uh, the business today? Give us some stats to help uh, position it in our minds. So we've got about 800,000 members and, and more than 1,500 merchants. And, and those merchants are across some of Australia's, uh, Australia's biggest and the world's biggest brands. You, I mean, you can see behind me Apple and, and ASOS and Expedia. Um, and I think that that forms the foundation for a really exciting future. We're not a new and untested segment. Um, we've, we've got scale on, on both sides, but with the benefit of the IPO funds, we can really, really build out each side of that uh, equation. And it is very much a, a flywheel or momentum based business. So the more customers that, that we acquire, uh, the, the more value we can deliver to merchants, which equates to more merchants or more engaged merchants, uh, translating to more offers, which obviously increases the attractiveness for, for customers and, and um, translates to more active customers and more frequency over time. Sounds interesting. Let's, um, let's go to a little bit about the market that cash rewards can address and, and maybe give us a sense of, you know, some of those loyalty type products that might be out in the market today that consumers out there will already know and no doubt love. So give us a sense of where you fit against those. Absolutely. Uh, Gary, that was the reason that I joined the business. I've sort of had a career of two halves in a way. I was a lawyer and investment banker for my sins for the first 10 years. And then the, the last 10 years has been in, in the loyalty and, and marketing and, and analytics or data and analytics space. Um, so I spent a number of years at Woolworths where we relaunched the loyalty program there and, and built a capability to drive um, a greater engagement with, with our members, taking it to Australia's largest loyalty program. And then I was at Maya One. And so I, I came into this business with a great understanding of, of the Australian uh, customers' behaviour and, and their increasing expectation for value in relation to brands that they shop, but also their, their propensity to engage uh, with programs that, that facilitate them receiving more value on their, on, their, uh, on their shopping. And at the simplest level, the Australian customer, if you think about it, uh, that, that on average, they're a member of seven loyalty programs and they've sort of been trained to, to scan a piece of plastic for 50 basis points or five cents on every hundred dollars they spend across many of them. Um, and I think that's, that's a great opportunity for us to, to leverage that, that customer need, but, but really differentiate in terms of we provide real cash value uh, and a multiple of, of that sort of uh, that loyalty program value versus points. Uh, we, we span all categories um, with our 1500 brands uh, versus some. And, and I think there's an enormous opportunity to, to address what is effectively uh, a, a total addressable market of say, you know, 14 plus million Australian shoppers or, uh, you know, almost all of those who are a member of loyalty programs. Um, I mean, the other way to think about the addressable market is where we sit in Australia from a cashback uh, market perspective relative to, to markets like ours. And so in Australia, we have three to 4% penetration of, of cashback in terms of um, the total uh, retail sector. That's as high as 20 to 30% in, in the US and the UK. Um, and Australians, uh, in, in my experience, they're no different. Um, they're, they're no more 
you know, cost conscious or value centric. And so that's, that's really the purpose for the IPO is to, to take a brand that from both a customer and merchant perspective is an absolute no brainer and, and drive the awareness to, um, to scale uh, the, the business across both customers and merchants. Okay, so loyalty today in Australia is points based. Cash rewards is coming into the market with a cash back offer. Who doesn't like cash? Um, exactly. Um, that's the proposition to go and drive market share in there. Interesting. Let's um, let's talk a little bit about that proposition for from a consumer perspective. What what are they? How does it work? Um, I mean, it's new, like you said. Let's uh, let's. Uh, Let's go through the mechanics of what it means for the consumer. How do they get their cash back? Uh, absolutely, Gary. So it's it's free to to sign up, um, and a customer can can engage with us across you know a suite of products. So we've got online, we've got the app, we've got the the assistant that I'll I'll talk about. Um, once you you've signed up, and I'll just you know show you the app. Um, you you've got access to to those savings or that cash back across you know, 1500 odd, odd brands, uh, where those brands, we, we work with them to drive strategic um, imperatives. And so those offers can, um, can be really attractive over time. We had 8% uh, off Apple on Black Friday, for example, which is pretty unheard of in the market. Um, and as a customer, when you've engaged with, um, with, when you've engaged with cash rewards, you can see that you you just accumulate savings. So I'm, I'm actually a relatively new customer, but already I've I've earned seven hundred and ten dollars um, through shopping with um, you know with any number of brands. Um, when that's in your account, um, you're able to to withdraw it and and save it for a rainy day, or you're able to um, to use it to to shop again on on other brands that that you know and love. Very good. Interesting. And for the merchant, what do they, what do they get out of it? Talk, us, talk to us about why merchants would be interested in joining the cash rewards family. We, we, we provide an unrivaled return on marketing spend. It, it's a pure performance based model, model, which means that the merchant only pays when the customer transacts and, and we've got the ability leveraging uh, our data to forensically demonstrate the ROI on that. And so what we see relative to other forms of marketing where you pay for impressions or, or clicks, um, with, with us, you only pay for the result and, and that leads to, you know, 10, 15 times um, return on ad spend, simplistically, you know, $15 for every dollar of, of marketing spend. Um, we're also able to, and this is an important um, one to sort of reflect on, we're able to avoid um, discounting and maintain gross margin. And, and that's um, through, I think, two key dimensions. As a result of the really powerful uh, customer dynamic we have, you know, the, the fact that you save when you shop, we, we deliver not just higher conversion, but higher average order value. So at Dan Murphy's, the customer will buy a nicer bottle of wine or more wine because they know that they're, they're saving or with booking.com, they'll, they'll book a five-star hotel versus a four-star hotel. Um, but they also repeat purchase. So, you know, on average 50% of customers that transact with a brand through us, they return to that brand. Um, and, and that's really attractive um, for, for merchants, along with the fact that their discounts um, in their promotional spend, it doesn't need to be made available to all of Australia. And so the fact that we can connect them with high propensity, high value, high engagement shoppers is hugely attractive for them. Interesting. So for the consumer, they get cash back rather than points and cash that they can withdraw and spend anywhere. And for the merchant, they've got the ability to control a relationship and a channel to that relationship in a very cost effective way. And it sounds like you've got some stats there that you show them that backs up the efficacy of, of the delivery of clients to their business model. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, that, that last point is that's the, you know, that's the kernel. That's, that's the, um, the real value in the business, Gary, is that we're effectively creating value for both customers and merchants. And so, from a, from a merchant perspective, um, they invest directly into the customer relationship. There's, you know, they're not going via an ad agency. They're, they're, they're you know, building a relationship with customers. In the online space, we see that 60% of customers that we connect with brands 
create an account with those brands, which then allows them to foster that relationship and, and build long-term loyalty. Uh, and so it is really a virtuous, vir virtuous circle or cycle. And, and we ultimately benefit uh, in the middle from driving more value to customers and brands. Well, Bernard, I want to say thanks for talking us through the cash rewards equity story and obviously wish you good luck over the coming quarters and years ahead. And we look forward to seeing cash rewards out there in the market doing business and doing it strongly.